Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well after a rather boring Formula 1 race, but today we shall do something better than Formula 1. See, this is the Fiat Cinquecento. I made a video about this thing, the older one, so I figured we should give the newer one a try. I made a setup already for a few races, so we might as well go and see how it drives. Right, let's start easy, I say. And then one second, please. Just a second. Right. Alright, we shall be good right now. Just the usual setup stuff that one has to do before streaming. <laughs> that ain't no 500. Yeah, it's the newer 500. It's a new one they made during the 1990s. So we shall be good to go now. By the way, let me know if everything sounds alright. Um, I'm, I know my streams usually sound a bit lower, so I raise the volume on my microphone and change the position a little bit. Oh yeah, I want a rear view mirror for this race. <laughs> I really want a rear view mirror. This is a 500. They made many different versions of the 500. This one is the most unique one, I would say, because it doesn't have the round look of the classic 500, which everyone knows, which I suffered on my previous playthrough. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they made one. I don't think it's during the early 90s uh, to the late 90s. And this is called the Sporting, the 500 Sporting. Reality is Cinquecento, but let's just say 500 to uh, to simplify. <laughs> and yeah, it's actually a really interesting car. Yeah, it's, it is a bit better than the other one. Yeah. It's heavier, but it has more power. So we have to see how it behaves. Uh, no, hello Ray, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. We just started the racing with the Fiat, nothing too special. Just the first race, you're right in time. Uh, well, I guess it's... Uh, I wouldn't say it's easier, I mean, it, it is a better car, but not by much. It does, it does have really good gears, that I can tell. Like, the gearing needs ne next to no tuning. You just have to make them a bit longer to compensate for extra power. But they are so much better, and that means it has really good acceleration compared to the other Fiat. Which is something I'm really grateful for. Because with the 500, the big, the other one, like the older one, the biggest problem that they had was it, it was just too slow. And pretty much anything in a straight line, it, it was a death sentence for the Fiat. This one, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's not fast, but it has acceleration on its side, so I can reach top speed really quick, which is an advantage compared to my opponents, usually. Ah, oh, nice, a, a productive Sunday, that's usually a rarity, but it's really good when it does happen. Uh, my Sunday was alright, thank you for asking, I'm um, just... Usually, I'm already recording a new video. I had Formula One on the background while I was recording, and well, I guess that was more boring than I expected, but eh, it was alright. Just a nice day, really. 
So that's the first race done. Let's see what we got. Oh, look, an Eckhart. <laughs> Too bad we're not totally not going to use this thing. Totally not going to use this thing. <laughs> right. Race. Um, we're going to do the one on midfield last. Because it's midfield, I'm going to get destroyed. So, yeah, we're going to add a bit more power for this. And hope for the best, I guess. Oh, allergies are really bad. Yeah, I totally get what you mean. Uh, I, I'm i lucky enough not to have those, but uh, I know family and friends who do. And yeah, it's not good at all. Oh, they are instantly pulling away from me, which is to be expected. <laughs> totally expected. Yeah, man, I'm totally going to rely on cornering skills to beat them. Totally going to rely on cornering skills. So we're still on... Oh, well, never mind. They went so wide for that turn. I, I was starting to be scared because we were approaching the main straight. And yeah, I mean, I want to gain some positions before the main straight. One, so I can somewhat slipstream. And two, so yeah. <laughs> At least I want to hold someone behind me like this. <laughs> Just for a tiny bit, right? I mean, it's one car less to be worried about. I already have five cars to deal with. Yeah, waking up with a sore throat is awful. I have to be careful, like, my throat is really sensitive as well, and it's getting colder. And the last thing I want is to be unable to speak for a week or so. So I'm totally taking, going the extra mile, taking all the precautions. To avoid any unpleasant situations. <laughs> right, I'm going right here. You're going wide. We have next to no top speed, by the way. <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. The FTO ahead is just quicker than me, obviously. It's okay. He's going to screw it. Oh, yeah, he's going to screw it up sooner or later. Or I'm going to get stuck behind him, which is the worst thing that could happen. Yeah, I'm going to throw right here. Yep. Yeah. Now it's time to block. <laughs> Yeah, this ain't going to work at least. I'll have to see if I can overtake right here, which I doubt. Because it's an uphill section. Totally an uphill section. But still, there's a few corners, so I might be able to go for a throw here. And hug the inside and make make my move, and no, that didn't happen. Come on, come on. Just just give me one, one opportunity, that's all I need. But it's so fast, I mean, it's so much faster that it pulled away. And ah, uh, that was so close. That was so close. Yeah, it's totally doable. I just need to change the gearing a bit. So I don't die on the main straight. <laughs> oh man, that's so unfortunate. Oh, 
Right. Let's just extend the gears a little bit more. And go for attempt number two. Just watch as there's no FTO. Um, no, I think it's a two or a three cylinder. We'll check when the race is over. But yeah, it's a really small engine, actually. I think it's a three cylinder, don't quote me. We'll, we'll, we'll totally check it out. Yeah, Gran Turismo 2 sounds aren't the best. <laughs> I mean, it's been a staple of the franchise to have totally awful car sounds and engine sounds, but... Yeah, it's misleading. Some cars sound super, like race cars and they're just street cars and you have race cars which sound like street cars. <laughs> it's really absurd. Ah, but it's fine, you know, you get, it is what it is. Oh, so what, side by side with an Alpha 156. I really like the 156. Vacuum cleaner, yeah, pretty much the vacuum kill cleaner sounds. That is the Gran Turismo experience. Oh, come on, don't block me like that. Yeah, I have an Eclipse ahead, and I don't know what else. I think it's an Integra, but don't quote me on that. Yeah, it's an Integra, a Type R Integra. Yeah, it should be fine. The, the, the Type R Integra is a really quick car. But a front wheel drive is an excellent car, actually. And the Eclipse is quick, yeah, but it's kind of heavy, I guess, compared to the Integra. It, it suffers the same problem as the 156 in a way, that they are quick cars, but they are kind of heavy and understeery. And that pen penalizes them. Usually the Type R's have the best setups of them all, like... At times you can tell that you can't even realize that it's a front wheel drive, given how well they drive. So, they, they are always going to be at a disadvantage, the other cars. Yeah, totally, let's go. We have we have a final, we have the final lap to catch up to the Type R. Yeah, it will be better if I don't top the wall, mind you. I heard break and I'm not going to break because I don't need to break. <laughs> Making some last Hey yeah, that's an interesting name actually. It could work. To squeeze the eclipse a little bit there so it didn't overtake me. And we're going for the lead. We're going for the lead. Uh, right, right, we're close, we're close. A bit unfair, but I'll take it. Yeah, no, you, you, you're not going to pass. <laughs> you're not going to pass. Uh, thank, thank you, Atilos, for watching my last two videos. I'm glad you enjoyed them. That's usually why I make them for so I can entertain people, so... I'm really glad when people say that they enjoyed my videos. It feels really good, and, well, it, it means that I'm providing the entertainment that I aim to provide. <laughs> and just like that, we have this race on our side. Now, midfield raceway, this is going to be interesting. So, yeah, I'm going to go for the extra turbo kit. And we're going to extend the gears just a tiny bit more because it's midfield raceway. What did you expect? <laughs> I hope to be on the same on the same level as everyone else. It should be fine, I doubt that I'm overpowered, given that these cars are way faster than I am. And it's midfield raceway, I mean, I don't have to explain. 
So yeah, we're actually hmm, we're actually faster off the line. Interesting. Very interesting that we're faster off the line. Huh. Yeah, it's, it's totally the acceleration. See, like, they, they, they struggle so much to reach their top speed. And I'm reaching my top speed in nothing. It takes no time. So, yeah, that's that's something to consider. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're staying behind. Jesus. <laughs> totally didn't expect that. But I, I I didn't solve anything interesting on that grid. Probably the one the only interesting car was the Master 323, which comes with a really small B6. The, those things sound great. So uh, I will look I will look the sound of those if you don't know how they sound. Uh, hello, Pony Slayer. Hope you're doing well. Nice to have you here. So yeah, the Master 323 with the B6. Uh, I think it's a 2 liter B6 or a, yeah, it's a 2 liter B6 or below. It sounds really good. Out of all the lineup, that's probably the one, the only interesting car. Yeah, right behind me, though, that's for sure. Yeah, it's the Vectra right behind me. Yeah, the generation of Vectra was quite nice. It's not a bad car at all. I mean, it's just your average entry level, I guess, for your saloon of the late 90s. <laughs> Too expensive to be to be affordable in the lower end of the market, and too too cheap to be uh, to be considered by the premium buyer. So they just kind of fell in a in the middle of nowhere, and they they became forgettable over time. Yeah, there's a lot of cars that are nice and... I mean, they aren't anything special, but they are nice and... Given how cars are nowadays... Yeah, I totally get why someone will buy an older car. I mean, it's the best approach, personally. Yeah, they're far behind. There we go. That one was easy. Oh, yeah, there's a, it, it was a Civic Type R, the fastest car. There's two in two vectors, not one, not one. He thought it was one. Uh, personally, I prefer the Vector. I like bigger cars. Well, I mean, it depends. Sometimes I like smaller cars, but uh, I like the I like the Vector of that generation. Oh yeah, you wanted to see something, right? And so did I. Oh, we want this. <laughs> and this we want on the previous race on Trial Mountain. This is nice, I like the prelude. I like the prelude a lot. And yeah, we wanted to see... It's an inline 4, you are right, actually. It's a 1 liter inline 4, yeah. Uh, you are right. <laughs> now, we're going to take care of these races. Also, as a reminder, if you can, of course, I know it's it's annoying when people do this, but if you want to leave a like for this stream, it will help me a lot to keep pushing the stream and recommend it to new people. Uh, no, the yellow car was uh, was an A111, I think it is the, the Corolla that came after the A86. It's a front-wheel drive one. And then the red one was a prelude. Oh look, another Fiat 500. And it's in yellow. <laughs> yeah, someone's trying the same challenge as I was. <laughs> oh god, it's getting destroyed. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. F in chat for the other Fiat 500. 
Oh, thanks, Toyota. Thanks for crashing into me. <laughs> the yellow e home. Yeah, totally the yellow e home. But this one is missing two doors and it's rather square, actually. <laughs> But yeah, I guess you could say that. Ah, it's just a meme, you know. I, I don't... Memes are just hard to understand. They're just there, you know. They either click with you or they don't. It's like humor. Humor is like that. They, some things just don't work for you and that's fine. There's a lot of stuff that I don't find funny and people go crazy over it and vice versa, you know. It is what it is when it comes to humor. Yeah, it's, it's just... Uh... It's just uh, the meme that came with GT2000 and the the awful distorted image and the the, the loud me the loud so song which was uh, I don't remember the name of the song now. But yeah. For one, it, it in a way it kind of kickstarted the. The Gran Turismo meme stuff, I guess, because there was nothing about racing games when... Back then, I mean, when, when that happened, all of the games had kind of started to develop their meme culture, I guess, in quotation marks. And... Racing games had nothing, especially Gran Turismo, and people were starting to see what they could do. And that just kind of popped up and everyone embraced it. So I think that's why it became so popular, because there the, there was nothing at the time and people just grabbed whatever they could because every every single game franchise was starting to be memed by their own community. So that happened. Holy shit, the 500 was second! <laughs> How? <laughs> How? I want to know. What well, I should know, but wow. Yeah, the song, the name of the song was Mirage. <laughs> hey, well done. Well done, Fiat 500. You have our respect. Totally have our respect. Ah, uh, you guys really want to see the replay of the other 500? If you want, I could, but you have to let me know now, because otherwise it's going to be gone forever. So here we are. If you want to see the replay, I'll just play it, and if not, we'll call it a day and move on with our, with our schedule. I mean, thing is, if I save it, it's going to be a loss anyway, because I'm not going to use the replay feature on this game. If I want to save it, the best call is just watch and record, I guess, but whatever. Yeah, we'll save on slot too. Oh, shit, I don't remember this at all. Oh, uh, fine. Well, I'll probably just watch it later and see if there's anything funny. Yeah, now you'll have to sit through the saving screen. Yep, there we go. Oh, hey, Tikanji. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, it, did, it really did feel fresh at the time. Oh, shit, I forgot, right. 
Now that that was kind of my point. It, uh, there was nothing for Gran Turismo, and that kind of came and people embraced it. You don't get to choose at time. At times, people embrace whatever they have in front of them, and then you have to see and wait for the results. Right, we're going to give this thing. Oh, I can't. <laughs> no car wash for the Fiat. It's still clean, factory clean. <laughs> Um, yeah, this should be fine. There you get. There you are. We have a four GT forty with us. It's going to get blocked by the by the Stratos or not? Yeah, it's totally getting blocked by the Stratos. <laughs> I don't have much top speed, but... Yeah, it's, it, it, the, the GT40s are really on the lead, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the gears on these cars are, is, are really short, but they are useful. They are so much better than the ones in the origin and the other 500. This thing actually has a lot of acceleration and I like it. Could be way worse. And yeah, car washes help with downforce. So you do want to keep the, keep the car clean whenever you can and whenever you're trying to push the car to its limit. That's what, what, what it's there. And, uh, and not in Gran Turismo too, because it's hard, hard to hard to realize, but in Gran Turismo 3 and 4, cars have better reflections when you clean them. God, I should have made the gears longer. Doesn't matter. If, 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 ah, if it fails, I'll just try it again. There's not. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure for Gran Turismo 2. For Gran Turismo 2 there's nothing, but I'm sure in Gran Turismo 3 and 4 the car wash does help with, with downforce. If the car is dirty, you have less downforce. I thought that was kind of proven, but maybe not. Well, Yeah, I totally need a bit more speed. Totally need it, needed to extend the gears. But I mean, it it will be really funny. Like, your car is dirty and it doesn't have down downforce because it's dirty. <laughs> it, it it doesn't make any sense, but it will be it will be really funny. Then again, I mean, a lot of things don't make sense in Gran Turismo, so who cares? Right, so the very simplified version of Downforce, because it's going to take a while to explain. It's pretty much you have the you have wings on the front of, on the rear of the car, and those wings have an effect. Uh, Shit, how, how, how do I explain it? <laughs> it's difficult to explain them. Pretty much you have to think like, you, s you picture the body of a car and just think of the effect that the wind has on it. Because the car is usually provides resistance to the wind, like it's, la it's, it's trying to cut through the wind when it comes in front of it. So the what downforce is is pretty much the weight of the wind pushing down onto the car. I think that will be the best way to describe it in a few words. And yeah, I do like the music in Gran Turismo too, but it has copyrights and yeah, so I'm not going to play that the copyright game. And since I have to press a button to disable race music and I always forget, I'm not going to do it. 
So yeah, sorry, no music. Yeah, pretty much. That that's that's the best way to explain it. It channels the wind as the car passes through. Wait, wait there's a GT40, right? There's a GT40. I didn't see it for a second. Shit. I I I had any any you could have pulled away so much faster if I if I didn't stop to see if there was a GT40. Oh god, he goes for the throw on the inside. I gave him the inside. I'm so stupid. How did I give him the inside? That's that was such a dumb mistake on my part. We're not going to talk about that, okay? Nothing happened there. That was a totally clean and fair maneuver. God damn it. <laughs> I can't use the rear view mirror because he's right next to me. Yeah, no, it, in, in real life it doesn't work like that, like... Wings don't get dirty over time and the um, downforce is reduced. I don't know. Don't, don't worry about it. We'll appreciate if you turn. Thanks. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was such an easy victory. I threw it away. Ah. Uh. I'm already a second behind. That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The wall top doesn't matter either. It's fine. Closing in. Right, I'm sorry I'm being quiet. I'm, I have to focus to see if I can catch up to it, but I doubt it now. Because we have the straight and yeah, it's going to pull away. I don't remember how many street legal GT40s they were built. I think it was like three, the rest were race cars. If there's any, like, yeah, there's, I think there's three. The rest were race cars. Yes, it does have the limited slip differential. Ah, come on. I'm getting closer. Ah, this is unfortunate. So unfortunate. I know it's doable because I did it for the thumbnail. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I did it for the thumbnail, of course it's, do it's doable. Well, I lost my setup. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe this is too hard. Uh, we'll try lowering this stuff. Fine. Oh, it's on the lead. Jesus. I do have to make it so difficult for me, game. You put the, the, the GT40 on the lead, like, you ju just give him the win already. Uh, being behind the Stratos isn't that bad, though. No. I like the Stratos. Who doesn't like the Stratos? Like, find me a person who doesn't like the Lancy Stratos. Ooh, now it goes sideways. Now I like it.
Ah, I break too hard for that turn. Yeah, it's kind of hard to drive in this game, actually. Yeah, you totally have a point. I I really like it, uh, but I have it because I won one. But uh, I haven't found an event where I can say I want to use it yet. Maybe, maybe I could use it for some race, from all, some all star stuff and all of that. But I doubt it. I will have to try and see. Ah, oh, hey Anthony, hope you're doing well. Yeah, the, the Delta is, is nice as well. It's totally a more obtainable car than a Stratos, that's for sure. And it has its, its own cool its own cool story to it as well. For me, I, if I had to pick a Lange, it would be the Fulvia, the Fulvia Coupe. Those ones are really nice, and they aren't crazy expensive yet. I mean, they are expensive, but not, you know, seven figures expensive or six figures expensive yet. If I recall. So, yeah, that's one little card for you to look up. Ah, uh, we could do something with these Stratos if you want. When I finish this race and we finish doing races with the Fiat, we could try the Stratos. Surely there's something to do with it. Come on, come on. You're really going to make me buy the other white reduction stage, really? Uh. I totally don't understand the limited slip differential in this game. It just... I don't know what it does, really. I just set it up to... I just try stuff and see what works. I know in cars with front wheel drive, I just set acceleration rather low. And in rear wheel drive cars, I just set acceleration rather high. That's all I do. In 4, yeah, they feel a lot more functional in 4. There's no GT40. Alright, I have to check the used, the used car market because we but 10 days have passed. There's no GT40 now. Are you scared, GT40? Are you scared of our lighter Cinquecento? <laughs> ah, there you are. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, setups in Gran Turismo have always been... Let's be honest, it's slightly broken, especially in these earlier titles. Because they just couldn't model all the physics they wanted to. And yeah, there's a bit of brokenness to it to them all. How broken they are, well it depends on the game. But they they are all slightly broken. I mean, the fact that cars don't seem to have a... The fact that you can just lower the front right height and the car accelerates more already is a massive red flag. <laughs> that just shouldn't be possible, and yet it is, and here we are now, right? It's, ri it's just ridiculous. I don't know what I made, but this car is really less understeer than it was before. Just 
just don't know what I touch. I, I know it worked. That's all I can tell. Yeah, the LST makes Karas understeer. For me, I think it's all tied to the initial and acceleration value. Like, initial, if you crank it up, it's going to understeer more. But in smaller cars and lighter cars, you want a higher initial. Acceleration, it's the one that will control the entire LST, at least in this game. So, if a car is understeer or a front-wheel drive, I usually have a low setup on acceleration. But if it's a rear-wheel drive, I usually go for a higher acceleration setup, because they seem to work better. I used in the right height trick for most of the races after I bought the racing suspension. Japan 3, the National 3, are impossible in the sense that it doesn't matter what you do, because given the main straight it's on an uphill section, you lose so much time in that uphill section that opponents catch up to you and you can't defend on time so they all pass. They all pass by and you end up last. Uh, except for GTs, there are other racing games I play. Yeah, I'll try most racing games, depend how good they feel. I have a lot of videos about Need for Speed on my channel as well. It all depends on what I can do with the game, usually. I like rally games, I wanted to play Colin McRae Rally in the channel as well. Ah, never mind. Okay. Yeah, because what you are saying is in reality how it works. In reality, initial manages the, the strength of the LST, acceleration is for corner exit, and the acceleration is for corner entry. But I don't think it's modeled that way in this game. But yes, in reality, that's how it works. Oh yeah, I'll try, I'll try messing up with this setup a bit more. I don't think it's a setup problem. I think I just die bomb the, the 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 GT14. That's how I won. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I think that's what I did, and it just worked. Yeah, it will be interesting. I guess. I mean, I don't don't take my word for granted because. Uh, usually I just change all the setup of setups together, so it's hard to pinpoint what does what. But yeah, it, my, my theory is that in Gran Turismo 2, you just you always want a really low initial and use acceleration to to balance things out. Usually, I just never go past 15 in initial, depending on the car. Like, for all-wheel drive cars, on the front axle, I go for as low as single-digit uh, initial. And, I don't know, 10 acceleration, then 40-something 40, 40 on the rear. Do I think I can win this race? Yeah, I think I can. I'd probably give it another try, and then we'll move up to something else. Because I'm, I'm totally not driving well, it seems. Oh, 40 series zero one. That's interesting. But yeah, it's doable. I think it's doable. It's me the problem. It's not nothing else. I mean, of course, it's going to be me the problem. Are you surprised? <laughs> Are you really surprised? <laughs> yeah, we're we're already being desperate here. In the speed round, I felt I had to use a high initial so the car didn't skid constantly. And yeah, that will make sense. Uh, hey, Chamango, hope you're doing well and thanks. I appreciate it. Right, but you have the GT1, right, in the in the 
the speedrun. You you end up with the GT1 with the stage 4 turbo kit. If that's the case, then it has uh, like an initial value of acceleration of 36, right? Um, usually it will be, the, if I had to make a tie bomb, it will be right at the end of, of the main straight and just defend on the last two corners. Because otherwise it, it's pointless, it's just a waste of time. Right, I'm going to give it just another try because I was told to lower the front camber. So we'll try that. And if not, we'll just move up to other things. Uh, let's try this. And um, this as well. Might, might as well. Right, so you're, you're on low initial, I assume. Or high initial for the GT1. Because I will think with high initial, it would just understeer like crazy. Hey Miguel, hope you're doing well. But it's just a theory, you know. Usually just run low, really low initial. You want to know something funny? Uh, when I was a kid playing this game, I will used to run r initial at maximum, ex er everything at maximum, and then realize why car I didn't understand why cars didn't make turns. <laughs> yeah. The problem is that I in the corners I can manage as you see. The problem is that when it, whenever we reach a straight the GT40 just pulls ahead and they have no way of making that gap back. Uh, 38 initial, that's high. But right, you're playing with lower frame rates, so that's something I have to keep in mind whenever I say something for the setup. Because, I, I'll be honest, since I found this, I never play with the lower frame rate. I did it for the M12 video, and I'm not looking forward to doing it back again. <laughs> Totally not looking forward to doing playing this game on 30 FPS ever again. Yeah, I totally lost a fuck ton of time on that final section. It went sideways. Yeah, I'm usually one second and I'm two seconds behind. Pieces. That was slow. Ah. I mean, it all, it, it all else fails, we can always use the racing modification and cheese it with downforce, I suppose. <laughs> when everything fails, just use downforce to your, to your advantage. Uh, the, the GT40 has a downforce slider, actually. Despite it being a street car. Well, a street car, I mean, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. There's a racing GT40 with a golf lever in the ain't it? Yeah, I might as well. We'll try the die bomb approach. Just to... see, see, I'm too far. <laughs> I need to be closer for that to work. I don't know who suggested, who, who asked me about die bombing the GT40. But yeah, it doesn't work that way. I need to be closer to it. Right, we're going to come back to this later, I think. Now, you know, I'm curious. We, we were talking about the Stratos earlier on. And they want to use the Stratos. Why not? But I'm going to do something before... 
Yeah, I say CMR. <laughs> it will start loading. And because I don't I, I don't want to ruin my only Stratos, I'm going to buy another one for myself. <laughs> See? We're going to buy another Stratos. Done. Yeah, if I block... It, it, it's not going to be possible to block the entire lap. Right, I want to check something real quick. I want to see if there's anything special in the used car market. And then we'll go for the... To start playing with the Stratos. Oh, there's an Evo 5 in red. But yeah, I don't, I don't see the appeal in that. I already have one of those. I have the rare or the, the light the light what you want, not the GSR. I'm looking for a specific skyline, but it's not now. It's not on the market. Nothing here. No, like electricity post went out. Jesus, that's terrible, Miguel. I can totally understand the problems of dodgy electricity suppliers. <laughs> Happens all the time in here. Right, there's nothing special in the second-hand market. So, we're going to start playing with this thing. Right. Right, no. Oh. We, we call the start here. We're totally going to buy the suspension kit for this. Brakes, so I can play a bit with brake balance. Um, this, but I don't know if we're going to use it now. Just in case. Gearbox. The old skyline. There was an, there was an old skyline. No, uh, no, I'm not looking for the Alto Skyline. I'm looking for the R32 Nismo. Because it really ha it has a really nice racing modification. And I haven't found one yet. I haven't found one at all. Yeah, the only supplier here is also the government. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I totally get what you mean. <laughs> They say it's private, but it's the government. I mean, they run the numbers and... yeah. Uh, the road version GT1 costs a million credits. Wonder what how this is like with simulation tires. Um, simulation tires are terrible, but maybe we can try. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> and I'm playing Gran Turismo 2 Plus, uh, so I don't know if the cars are moved uh, or whatever. I don't. I have no idea. So I just have to check every ten days. There's three Stratos and they are all yellow. Mine... I mean, this field is like 50% lunch Stratos. <laughs> oh, we're already hitting top speed. Oh god, you, you really like to understeer, don't you? So, oh yeah, this thing it really likes to understeer. <laughs> That's why I've been quiet because I was waiting for the moment it will go wide into a turn. I need to play with this setup a bit more, it seems. 
It doesn't turn at all. What the hell? It doesn't turn at all. It, it just refuses to turn. Yeah, that will be interesting. A, a lot of cars and car brands just don't have plural pr pronunciations or words. It's really difficult to, to find words for those. Yeah, I really wonder what top 3 is going to look like. It's going to be interesting, that's for sure. The MGF is keeping up quite well with us. Yeah, it totally is an enigma. It, it goes really well on straight line, and but then you reach a corner and just go under steers. And usually to counter that, I, I do brake tapping, like I just tap the brakes and the accelerator at the same time to push weight on the front. And yes, it's really slow, you shouldn't do that because it's really slow. But yes, that, that's my way of correcting that. I guess I have to use that trick with this car. It's going quite well. Yeah, the MGF is a really, it's a really nice car. I really like the MGF. Hey, here we go. And um, yep, we got the top three. <laughs> Poor MGF. I hope he will. I I thought he will have a better chance. Oh, thanks, Tom. I'll keep that in mind. I'll see how far we are right now. One hundred and twenty-seven. So in theory, the next one should be in day one hundred and fifty. Now eh, we have some time for it before that. Oh, we won this thing. I really like this thing. The next race is going to be is going to be an high speed ring. So we're going to do a few upgrades. No. Not. High speed ring. The Cerber LM in Gran Turismo 1 is a really quick car. I don't know in Gran Turismo 2 because it's a bit hard to win the... Because it's a random prize. It's a random prize car, so it's kind of difficult. But it, it it has the potential to be a quick car. It it's less than a ton and it has like 500 ish horsepower. Right. Let's see how this goes. Uh, I didn't. I didn't equip the ma the racing muffler. Oh well, that's up. Too late. <laughs> yeah, in the Japanese release of Gran Turismo One, the Cerber LM is it, it's a lightweight. It's just 700 kilograms. It's absurd. I haven't driven it in that game, but it's ridiculous. Oh yeah. You just don't like to turn, don't you? It just refuses to turn. How did they go so wrong with this car? I, I, do, I don't understand. They were... It's like... It's something missing, because... Not even the racing modification and downforce fixes this. I, I don't remember it being much better with the racing modification. And it was one of the cars that I tested to race against the Vector M12. And of course I had to discard it because, you know, it's not competitive at all. It's just not competitive at all. <laughs> Compared to the S15, the S15 was the rocket ship. Yeah, totally, this is the 
This is the grand, the, the real driving simulator, of course. And of course, I lift off on the rear kicks off. Makes sense. I don't want to finish last, but it seems I will finish last. Ah, <laughs> uh, not not true actually. Old car. It depends on the old car. Muscle cars drive well with a few m suspension tweaks. Uh, classic Japanese cars like the 2000 GT and. Others drive really well with suspension changes, so yeah, it really depends on the car. It's this car to be specific. Because then you have cars like the Lotus Elan, Lotus Europa and all of those which are really good. But this one, this one not so much. Yeah, this is totally lost. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, right. Let's see what else we can do to improve the Stratos. Sixth place, god damn. I know we could buy tires, but I'm saving the tire upgrade for the final race. Alright, we're totally underpowered. Totally underpowered. So we're going to. I'm just going to make this even softer, I guess. Um. Um. I guess. <laughs> Simulation tires are the Stratos, no. Ah, uh, no, it's the NTSC. The, the, yeah, I think if you showed me early, that it was, it was the closest one was day one, the week of day 150, well, week, 10 day weeks. <laughs> Gran Turismo 2 has 10 day weeks because the used market just rotates everything weeks. <laughs> no, well, now we. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to turn and it just didn't turn at all, it just. Follow the the bank term, which is interesting. Mm, thanks, Amar too. I appreciate your help. Oh God, it, it it just doesn't rotate at all. I'm pushing the stick as far as it will go. I really wonder if someone can just look into the coding of this car and comprehend why it's so busted. Yeah, it's, it's used for all the Corvettes as well. That's true. God, they're just pulling away from me. Oh, hey, that's a S. Nice to see you here. <laughs> just pl just paying my respects to the Mercedes Benz CLR with that jump. <laughs> We're just going to throw it in. Thank you, Cleo V6. Turn. Ah, uh, no, you can't. The GT90 has like 700 horsepower from stock. And yes, this sound. They, they kept using this sound until Gran Turismo 4 for the Corvettes. You're right. The, it, it, it's just ridiculous, man. There's no way of justifying this. Right, so at least it's a podium. We're getting somewhere. But yeah, we're totally outclassed. I'm going to buy tires and see if that changes anything. 
If that doesn't change anything, then we have a problem. <laughs> it's that simple. Not simulation tires, though. GT Joe's is still fine. Starting onwards, they if they got really under steery. Especially, especially Gran Turismo 4. Gran Turismo 4 is like the peak, peak understeer. Uh, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to lower this a bit, just in case. Oh, I didn't extend the gears right, I'm stupid. Uh, I always forget something. Off the line, we are pretty quick, actually. That's good. Just go... We just blast the MRS and the other cars. There's a lot to the head, uh, and at least just pulling away from us. I have to be careful, because if I enter these turns in tow, of course I'm not going to turn at all. Oh! Slick tire scarring me through? <laughs> Yeah, totally carrying me through. But the one, yeah, that's a uh, 190. It's going to be pretty quick. If you are wondering how I notice, it's thanks to the rims. That's the best way to. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I. Uh, you you have enough hearing my voice as is. I'm not going to scream. <laughs> oh, toe. Thanks. Thanks for the free toe. Okay, that was really nice. I think I'll admit that was really nice. Yeah, now we have grip, but still, for a car on the slick tires, it doesn't grip at all. Let me tell you. Is going to hug the curve and rotate. Yeah, there's a lot of Lotus at least that are kind of there. Like they, they had the entire lineup, which is I, I adore that detail. It's so nice, especially because the Mark One at least is my favorite. At least like the one with the round head, it's, it's just the best one of them all. But yeah, they, they had the entire lineup, and it's such a nice detail. Still, given how hard the lease is to drive in this game, it's a bit of a disappointment, really, that they have an entire lineup and most of them struggle a lot and can't even be set up properly. <laughs> right, we have another race to do. Yeah, we're going to put a turbo kit on our Stratos. Okay, and we're going to do this race. This may be a challenge because there's cars like GT40s in this map. So yeah, we might struggle. I may have to try the one the one hundred and eleven S. Oh, there's a Venturi right next to me. I usually go for the one ninety because it's the most powerful one, and then regret my choice. Oh, there's a Vector W eight. Oh, th this is going to be fun. <laughs> It's so hard to keep the car straight on the turn. It just wants to go wide. Or even worse, just skip some jumps around.
There's no GT40 though, so yeah, this is deceiving. Yeah, the Spree is also a really nice card that often gets forgotten, actually. I really like the Spree B8. Oh, well, the inline force are nice as well, but, you know, the B8 is the special one. Yeah, the AI can't drive the W8 at all. And it's a shame, because it's a really nice car, actually. I really like W8. But there's no events to use it because it, it, it's just too quick and it makes everything so easy that I never get to use it. It's a shame, really. We might have to try all stars with the W8 if someone is interested. I don't think it's doable because it doesn't have downforce and it's just a break, but it, it might be an option. Yeah, Kanji has a few good guides on his channel already. Mm, there's nothing behind me. <laughs> There's totally nothing behind me. Um, yeah, we could buy the W8 and check it out. We, we get a GT40 for this, uh, so I'll sell that. And... Jesus, we were three seconds ahead. This is absurd, like, it, it doesn't make any sense. I had to drink a bit of water, sorry. <laughs> Just had to stop talking out of nowhere. Right, we have this thing. Yeah, I can make, I can find, I can buy, a, buy, win another one real quick. So we'll just sell it off. Yeah, and we're going to sell this too. And we're going to sell this too. No, this one I'll keep. And this one goes up. Uh, what else? What else? Now nah, we're fine for now. Uh, yeah, the W8. Vector has one of the most absurd stories for a car manufacturer. It's hilarious. It's it's pure vaporware before vaporware was even a term. And they added more colors straight from the. From the Lotus Spree V8 here. <laughs> um, um, I like the orange one. Yeah. We're going full slick tires and weight reduction first. And then from there, from there we'll work it out. But I think I'm going to buy all the upgrades and then just play with them as a little bit around. No. 40 horsepower from modifying the muffler. Those are some gains. Yeah, whatever. And yeah, we'll do this if I need to because they're permanent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Vector made like 
less than 50 cars in the span of like 20 years or so. It's, it's just ridiculous. And it's even worse when you remember that at least half of those cars were the the M12 and the M12 was uh, was based on a Lamborghini Diablo. So <laughs> I mean, my God. Uh, uh, how bad can it get? How bad can it get, really? Okay. Okay. I fire. Yeah, this thing just shall have stiff, uh, stiff suspension. Three. Yeah, look at this. This downforce is, is absurd. 54.85 is among the highest cars can have. The front is a bit low, though. But, yeah, that's really high. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I want shorter gears. Right, let's give this a try. Oh, sounds powerful. <laughs> oh, come on. Calibra, just don't block me. It understeers, I'll tell you that much. Uh... It kind of understeers, but good god, it's quick. <laughs> this is actually really quick. I mean, it's not school levels of Quake or GT1 levels of Quake, but it's Quake, all right. <laughs> yeah, the, the sounds are just... Everything is reused in Gran Turismo 2. They were conscious while developing the game. They recycled everything. <laughs> I'm not, sh I'm not sure if I can clock a sub-30. And yeah, the braking lights are awesome. The design itself is awesome. Uh, I used to love this car, uh, and I didn't know what it was. Because there was a demo on the original Gran Turismo 2, which had featured this car in red. And I found it absurd for a few reasons. One, it has ridic the original car comes with a three gear, with three gears. Yeah, I changed the transmission because it originally comes with a three gear. I was going to talk about that. a three speed gearbox, which is just useless. And uh, I was fascinated by that as a kid because it had ridiculously long gears. Oh, understand. Yeah, I, get, I mean, I, I don't mind. I don't mind. The cars drive different, so... I'm, I'm not going to sit here and demand an accurate sound from a game which is, all, which is my age, you know, it's 24 years old this year. I don't care. I, I'm, a, I'm more concerned about how the cars drive rather than how they sound. Yes, I mean, sounds are nice, I mean, it's really nice, and you can tell the attention to detail, but just make the cars that are drivable, above all. Oh, the belts are back to a second. Right, I mean, it drives well in a straight line, we'll see how it copes with corners.
I'm, I'm going to extend the gears, just a, uh, shorten the gears just a little bit. Because it's special stage 5. Yeah, the, the high dramatic, it had a GM gearbox, a 3 speed gearbox originally. Just look at those lights, man. It's just so cool. Just look at this thing. Why can't we have this car in newer games? That's my question. I know licensing and all of that, but these sort of things just need to be in modern games. People need to see these cars. Uh, 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 th there is no way around it. It kind of drives like a race car with how much downforce it has. I didn't. Ex I, I wasn't expecting this. I, I didn't remember it drove so well. But yes, it drives really well. Um, I mean, I'm going side by side with a Oreca Viper and it's competitive. I think maybe we found a car to do the two hours of ROM with. I was struggling to find a car for that race, and I think this is the car. It's surely out there, and it's going to be a challenge. <laughs> Ow. I mean, that's dedication. Setting up a wheel for this game, that's dedication. And you're going to be so disappointed, but, you know, whatever. It's your time. And yeah, the Phaeton is also a really interesting car, which Rickle use for something, I suppose. It's just too heavy, though. The Phaeton is just a tugboat. There's no way around it. And yeah... We'll, we'll have to we have to get creative that's for sure I wanted to do a race with the AMGs uh, one of the cars that I tried to do the GT World Championship with for the previous stream was the AMG E55 but it just can't keep up with the race cars because it's a brick and it doesn't turn at all I mean it turns it goes sideways <laughs> Which is what you'll expect from an, from an AMG, but yeah, it's not competitive. At least for me, it wasn't competitive. Yeah, I don't think you can play one of these games and expect the peak of sim racing. Playing them with a wheel is more of a curiosity than anything else. Uh, I was playing Gran Turismo 4 with a wheel for some time, and I made a video about that on my channel. And yeah, well, it's not bad, it's not good either, it's like a weird in-between. And that's Gran Turismo 4, mind you, so I don't want to imagine how it will feel in this game. But I would like to try it once, just to see how it... just out of curiosity, you know. You, you just have to take things for what they are. Don't ask more out of them and just enjoy them for what they are. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, yeah, this thing is pulling away, actually. <laughs> I didn't expect this at all. You know wh 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 which other car this reminds me of? It reminds me in some way of the Salinas 7. Like a really limited car which was made with a borrowed engine, but the, the rest of the car was totally developed by another company. But the Salinas 7 was at least well put together, and there are a few more of those. <laughs> so, yeah, but... And you can also drive the Salinas 7 in Gran Turismo 4. 
Which is understeer, mind you, but he can drive it. Now that I talk about the Salinas 7, I just remembered something that I'll have to keep in mind for something I'm working on later. Eh, that's interesting actually, thanks. Thanks, chat, for making me think about another car. <laughs> oh, that was a nice throw. That was a nice throw, you have to give me that at least. Alright, so I'm going to do another race with this thing to cover the cost of it and not end up broke. And we'll look for something else to drive. Uh, how does that sound? I want to get back to the 500 though. I I'm kind of pissed I didn't beat the, uh, for the GT40. All 115s though, my consistency is something to be admired. Oh yeah, the, there's the Lister M12 as well, the Lister M12, the Lister B12 as well, the Storm. That's an interesting car as well. I don't know which one's quicker, I think the this one is quicker than the Storm. But, you know, I'll have to try them side by side. Yeah, he was using super softs on the field. Oh god, the TT is getting destroyed. I really like that TT. It, it, it's not a, it's not a towering car TT. It's like all-wheel drive and it has like 500 horsepower. It's a really fun car to drive, actually. Oh god, the DLE's GT1 is such a beautiful car. It's a shame it, it wasn't that good, but it's such a nice car. Totally no downforce right there. The front downforce is a bit low on this, if we go by numbers alone. So yeah, it's totally starting to struggle a little bit. Okay, th this thing pulls so hard. <laughs> It leaps for the straight line pull. <laughs> yeah, the GT part is going to be part of our memories now. <laughs> The other car that I would like to try, but I think it's a bit too quick, is the Jaguar X XJR15. It's a really good car as well, but it's a bit too quick, so it makes the game too easy. Just like the W8 that I'm using to show right now. <laughs> Oh, 
the then there's what else there is that can that falls into the glass. Yeah, most of the roofs fall into that glass as well. They are really quick cars, really good handling cars, and they can just cheese through the game as well. Don't go, don't touch this hand. Thanks. We have two laps more of this. I just want to get my speed 12 so I can recover the cost of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> we make wise financial decisions in this channel. <laughs> uh, I mean, I try at least. We could say that I try to make wise financial decisions in this channel. <laughs> when in reality I don't. I mean, if I make wise financial decisions, I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> That's for sure. But yeah, if I'm broke, I can't afford more cars, so yeah, I always try to have some, some money for, to afford new cars in the game. was a nice drift actually like I'm not going to go down to a 107 right yeah no it's going to be a one oh almost a one oh yeah one oh nine that's slow good call my pace is falling through a cliff Just grip. I am almost going to that wall there. If I didn't break, I will have gone into the wall. And off we go. The speed job is ours. Oh yeah, another car that comes to mind is the F1 Space, the Space F1. It's so broken as well, but it's it's it hasn't been featured in any other game, and it's such a unique car. It's literally a, a minivan with a Formula One engine attached to the middle. Yeah, here you are, sold. And we have the mine scars. I really like the mine scars, so I'll keep them. Right, here you are. We're back to the Fiat's. See if there's anything else I have to do before we kick this off. No. Any other games with Venturi? Uh, Venturi, I think, is on Test Drive 6. Yeah, we're going to racing mod. But 
but Death Stripe 6 isn't a fun game to drive in. <laughs> that's... That's really what it is. It's not that good to drive in. You'll, you'll be disappointed. You'll be really disappointed. Yeah, the test drive games are like budget racing games for the PS1. And they have nice cars and I mean, the tracks aren't bad, but the driving physics are all over the place and yeah, it's a mixed bag. I do have a bit of nostalgia for them though and, and they have a really nice car selection. They have featured a lot of cars. So yeah. Oh, hey Kirby, welcome back. <laughs> I, I, I had to try it. Come on. Yeah, it was funny. Totally fair and balanced. <laughs> Totally fair and balanced. Right, here comes the main straight and it's going to pull away from me. But we're still less than a second behind, which is good. Right, with downforce we break a lot later, which is good. Really good. Ah, uh, almost. <laughs> Just look how it grips. <laughs> it just accelerates on the corner. Yeah, we're going for the dive here. One. We might have to do to add a second dive bomb at the end of the main straight. side by side I'm, I'm, I'm just focusing I'm sorry I shall try to speak a bit more yeah we're on it's time to block like crazy we're on this is what I wanted to happen right block And we win. It's ours. At long last, it's ours. <laughs> I had I, I didn't want to buy the racing modification, but I guess I have to. I guess I got lucky, and, and the uh, this is more constant, and the other one was a fluke. And for this, we win a lot to Europa, which is a card that I actually like and want to keep. Oh, and it's in white. Yes, it's a really nice color for the Europa. Yeah, we've been doing other races, but we came back to this and came out first try. Um, There's another GT40 here, so we could try this instead. Yeah. There's not only a GT40 but a Cobra Daytona and that thing is quick. It's probably quicker than the GT40. So 
So we'll see if we can manage. Oh, come on, Stratos, don't block me. Thank you. I had the outside. I'm losing time behind these slow cars. I'm losing so much time. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> of course I just go into the wall. But Skyline is quick. Yeah, that's the early GTR. The first GTR was a four-door actually, and that's the evolution of that. It's a two-door. With a two-liter. Alright Attilos, nice to see you here. Sleep well, thanks for dropping by, I really appreciate it. Start your week nicely. Oh, we're going for the throw. Yeah, we're going for the throw, alright. <laughs> and we totally lose in the main straight, of course. But yeah, as I say, the Daytona is pulling away. Two seconds away. staying behind me. You're pushing me along. You're pushing me along, GT40. We have an, a common enemy. We totally have a common enemy here. Uh, I think I'm too far, but the AI is slower than me on the final section. That much I know. But uh, we're a second away. Mm. Could be, could be possible, could be not. Up to ah, uh, well, it won't be possible to like, up into the wall. <laughs> right, time to block. Okay, the, it, it. I'm not going to say anything now. No, don't say a word. Don't say up. Uh, <laughs> I told you no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah, that's so disappointing. That's so disappointing. It was almost a first try victory. You gotta be kidding me, man. Come on. You can do this to me. Man, that's so unfair. No, no replace. Continue. I want I want revenge. I want my revenge. Please don't oh there's no none of those threatening cars. There's no no light on. Oh, I have to check the used car market. There's no light on. Sorry, you know how this goes. I have to re refresh the lineup and see. There it is. Light on and GT40. They all crash into each other. No, the Toyota is just pulling away. Fine, I mean, have have fifth place if that if that helps you sleep at night. Yeah, the Subaru 360 is slower than the Fiat 500, and it doesn't have as much power as the Fiat 500 when you modify it. 
So it's even a worse car overall, yeah, totally. Come on, GT40, really? Really, GT40? Really, you're going to squeeze me into a wall? Jesus Christ. The Subaru 360 will be interesting to see what it can do, but yes, it's slower than the Fiat 500. The problem with the 360 is that I have to find a new one, and that's going to be difficult. They are rather rare in the second hand market. Right, I, I've been in this place before, I'm not going to get my hopes high. But then again, this is the first lap, so... Damn, that was quick. Yeah, I'm going to keep my eyes on you all. No, <laughs> I have to defend against two of the two cars and... It's not going to be possible I, to block both. I have to block... I can only block one of them. So, yes. This might be a problem. Yep, you're going to try and squeeze past. Don't care, just go by. You're going to, you're going to go wide anyway. <laughs> right. Right. Here comes the tunnel, and they turn into. Oof. I went, I, I, I'm going a bit wider. We'll have taken a different line. Ow! Don't just rubber band towards me, GT40. There we go. Ah, that was close. That was very close. And what do we win for all of our efforts? Don't be surprised, it's going to be a really disappointing car. Yep. This thing. Ah, uh, goodbye. Now uh, we saw 140. Let's see. Maybe we'll get lucky. No, we don't get lucky. <laughs> no 360. And no Nissan Skyline either. Oh, RX7. Oh, no, I don't like it in silver. Nothing special here, nothing special here. Into a Wamaro, it's silver, I don't like them in silver either. Oh, Honda. I got one of those already. Yeah, we're getting nothing special. Um, right. Huh. Yeah, we can try this. Just need to push the gears a little. We have an S4, an R33 sedan, a Skyline, which is a really unique car. And... or Fiat. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting we're getting destroyed by a by a Chrysler of all things. Good God! Oh, they are quick, all right. They're just pulling away from me. I'll have to see how it behaves when we reach the corners, though. That's going to be that's going to be where we'll make the difference. 
Ah, I have to break. That's so disappointing. I thought I could just pull it without breaking, but I guess not. That was too optimistic of my part. Yeah, of course they're going to struggle with the corners. There's a... That's a GTR made into a four-door, and ahead there's a leading the race, there's an AMG. I mean, we don't have much of a hope, I guess. At least not in this track. In other tracks, yeah, for sure, but here? I'm not sure. Oh, they're kind of far, though. They pulling, they're pulling away fast. Jesus Christ. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Dodge Intrepid, for pushing me. I appreciate it. Maybe, just maybe, if I... Okay. Okay, we're holding this lead. Yeah, but... He's... I'm not going to say anything. Last time I thought I won a race, I was beating on the, on the last second, so I'm not going to say a word. They go wide on the final turn, though. They went wide on the final turn. Yeah, they we won. First try. <laughs> on high-speed ring against cars with, like, 400 horsepower. At the very least. Not too bad. What do we get? What do we get? Yes! Just look at this thing. It's a Nismo 400R with four doors. It could be worse. I like it. Hmm. Oh yeah, we have this thing. So I'm curious, chat, what do you think about the GTR with four doors? I actually like them, but I know they're not for everyone. They are really rare cars, actually. They made a few, a few of those, not many. No, I have the long gears, I'm stupid. Forgot to change the gears. We might struggle in this race. Yeah, this is like inspired of world touring cars. They just made this to have a, something to fight against Toka Touring Cars, and I think it's a really nice detail they did it. Of course, uh, the, they are a bit slow, but uh, it's alright. This is kind of the fun part of Gran Turismo 2. It had something to go against all of the racing games in the market at the time. That accord is actually quick. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm struggling with the gear setup. I mean, I have the, the high speed ring gearing, which is really long, and of course, in Trial Mountain, I don't need such gears, and now I have really low acceleration of the line of the corridors. But hey, I mean, the handling remains the same, so yeah, I mean, it's competitive against touring cars. Totally competitive against touring cars. The only problem is it, there's no, we don't have the the 155 on the Calibra, which are proper touring cars from dealerships with 400 horsepower to test this against. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, against those I will lose. That's for sure. Uh, I already know that I will lose against those. I think it's a Primera behind me. Yeah, it's a blue Primera, I think. And the Accords are right behind the Primera. Hey, hey, Warfare. Nice to see you here. Uh, yeah, F1 was really boring today. Uh, but you did miss a few things. We were racing with this Fiat now. And we tried other cars as well and did a few races. How's your day? How's everything going? Don't understeer. <laughs> no god, did, did you see that? That car just but touched the curb and went flying off. So it's a it's a podium for us and Nissan Primaris. Interesting. Ah, Grid Legends. I never tried that game actually, but I don't have a PlayStation, so it will remain that way for some time, it seems. <laughs> Ooh, TRD 3000. I like this. Right. We'll do a few more races with this thing. It can be touring cars, so we'll leave those. Um, yeah, I want to try this race, actually. How, how's, um, Grid Legends? Do you like it so far, or it's boring? I heard mixed things about it, like, uh, it's just, uh, another racing game, nothing too special, nothing to write home about. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in F1 as well, like, I kind of was hoping Paris to win, but I guess that was hopeful thinking. Of course Verstappen was going to take the win. I just want to see competition, you know, I, I don't care who or why, I just want to see competition. 
I guess I, I we're not going to see that. No, oh, there's a yellow bear right uh, uh, right on the leaf. <laughs> Great, I have to fight myself. Brilliant. That's exactly what I wanted. Alright, yeah, I'm going to use the mirror. Break, by the love of God, just break. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be a struggle. I mean, yeah, but it's just gone. <laughs> it's just gone. This is the problem I was having, like, when people ask, ask me about Japan Nationals 3. This is the exact same problem I had in that race. It doesn't matter what I do, I just lose in the main straight. It's so frustrating to lose like this. Jesus Christ, for a second speak. do need more arcade racers, I'll totally give you that. This focus on simulation is nice, but at the same time, it's turning racing games into a really small niche and you need more arcade racing games, there's no way around it. So that's a, that it's nice to see someone's making an effort on arcade racing as well. Oh, yeah, just fall away from me, camera. I'll just go. Yeah, tap the wall as well. They all tap the wall, it's just hilarious. They always tap into the same wall, doesn't matter what they're driving, the AI always taps into that wall. It's so funny. <laughs> I mean, you will think they will learn, but no, no, they don't learn. They always make the same mistake, over and over again. Hey, Shida, how are you, how are you doing? How are you doing well? Nice to see you here. I, I would like to keep a podium at least. Just give me that. It's just a podium. I don't ask for more. Ah, well. That was close. Yeah, see, I'm in the lead, but it's not actually me. It's a clone of me. I couldn't beat my clone. <laughs> this isn't going to work. Ah, man, that's so sad. Uh, where, we, where we can take this thing now? No, maybe. Maybe. Don't have high hopes for this. But maybe, let's just give it a that. Um, the Fiat is actually alright. Well, I'm trying to find events to make it work. Events that I haven't done yet, to, so, so I can keep progressing on this playthrough. But it's better than the, the older 500 that I made a video for. And yeah, I actually like this car a lot. 
The other one is nice, all right as well. The the is the older one, but this one has more power and it has so much better acceleration. So if I had to choose one, this will be it to do more events. It totally can do more events. Mm, but I don't think this one is doable. <laughs> Oh, nice. Guess touching the grass from time to time does help. Yeah, they're back together, which is good for me, but they are pulling away, which isn't good for me. <laughs> Turn, turn, no, I made, I made the same mistake as the uh, AI, can you believe that? I got too greedy, I thought I could, I could grip through that, but no, you can't. Um, not many Cinquecentos, I assume. They were budget cars and they all got trashed. Funny enough, I had a friend who lived, I have a friend who lives in Italy and had one of these as his first car. Not the sporting, but like the regular Cinquecento. And he always talks fondly about it. I mean, Fiat is Fiat. It's not so much about reliability, but the fact that Fiat is... Uh, it's just a cheap manufacturer, let's just be honest. Fiat produces cars to a, to a budget, and... Given they produce cars to a budget, a lot of things go under the radar. Quality control, you know, faulty parts and all of that. So a lot of cars that went into the road, they, they aren't just made to last. They are made to be sold and then forgotten about. And I think that's the thing with Fiat, which other brands don't suffer as much. I mean, other volume manufacturers had their issues, but... I think Fiat has the worst reputation of them all because of that. Because the fact they always produce really cheap cars. And yeah, they they have to skip a lot of things to produce cars on that budget line. Yeah, no, the new 500 I wouldn't recommend to anyone. Unless you really like the aesthetics of the car, nah, nah, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. The up is, is a better option for sure. Totally a better option. Yeah, this one is undoable, I think. I'm close, but I, I'm, I'm just stuck in this no man's land where I'm not fast enough to catch up, but not slow enough to lose pace, to lose time against them. It, it, it sometimes happens, it's a bit of a weird in between, I suppose. We could give it another try, because I'm curious, I want to try it again. And see how far can I go, because I'm gaining on them. So maybe if I drive a bit better from the get-go, it could ha have a better position by the end, given they're all packed together. But these cars have like 600 horsepower, so it will be hilarious to defeat them with this Fiat. The mine Sibo, and then the, I think the biggest threat is the R34, usually. But maybe I'm wrong, I mean... No, not replay. For me, it's always the mines skylines which are the most scary. But yeah, pretty much anything with a mines low and it's unread and handwriting all over it. Oh, there it is. You just had to call it, didn't you? <laughs> there it is. I think I get what you are saying. It had the best launch out of them all. It's just stuck with traffic because it was fifth.
Yeah, well, that's a fair argument, actually. <laughs> this Skyland understeering and crushing itself out of the race. That That's totally on character for a GTR. Now we're two seconds, that's nice. We should be competitive here. Just have to give it a few tries. Or maybe I'm just getting too ahead of myself, as usual. <laughs> I really like those Tommy Kaira R's, GTRs. Oh, oh god. The, the sleep stream effect. <laughs> no, come on. I mean, initially it's fine if you take it for what it is, a piece of fiction. Uh, for one, I'm glad that it got a lot of people into cars. It, I, I think that's something which should, shouldn't be underestimated. The fact that a piece of media can get so much people into cars should be seen as a blessing. But I do admit, in the earlier, like, the first stage had a lot of attention to detail on, on car on car stuff and that just went through the window as they progressed with the with the show or the manga actually yeah it's kind of a shame that those tuner brands were started to be dumped out of Gran Turismo my Gran Turismo 3 Tommy Kyra only had like the set set S and the set set 2 prototype and none of the tuned cars which they had on Gran Turismo 2 made a car return, if I recall. So yeah, that's really disappointing, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to be doable. As I said, I'm stuck in a weird place because they aren't fast enough to pull away, but I'm not fast enough to catch up to them. <laughs> See? That's what I mean. It will help me if you turn, Fiat. Thanks. Each time I see a white Supra driving across this track, I have, like, instant flashbacks from the Gran Turismo 1 license test. Uh, we'll have to find another race to do with this thing. This is disappointing. Continue, we'll find something else to do. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that was close, but the problem is I, I I just don't have enough laps, I think, for to close the gap. And yeah, I mean, I'm closing in, but I'm closing at such a slow pace that I don't make it on the three laps that I'm given. That if I close into them at all, if they don't pull away from me.
this should be more manageable, but it's a tool up ray, so it's also a bit of a coin flip. Uh, thanks NSX for blocking my path. Those TBRs are going to be a problem. The TBR and the motorsports at least are going to be a problem. Uh, no, I usually don't do the gear trick, I just play with the final until I find something that I like. I know I should, but I don't bother with it, I, I admit. Probably if I did, I will have more competitive cars, but mm, yeah. The times I tried it, I, I couldn't make it work. Maybe it's just me being dumb and skipping something and not realizing, so I, sh I shall try it out another time. But no, it, it's just the standard gear set. Because I like the standard gear set up on this car. So I didn't do much, much, play the run much outside playing with final the final drive. Oh, they all went straight into the grass. Yeah, I knew the motorsport at least was going to be the problem here. Made sense. I, I, ju I just love the motorsport at least in this game. Like that green shade with the golden rims is just stunning. I know, it's a hard car to drive, but I just like it so much. So much faster than me in the main street, though. It helps if it touches the wall. <laughs> totally helps me. Kind of far to make a throw in the final turn. To throw the car in in the chicane were pretty far. And that's disappointing. I thought it was po it's doable, it's totally doable. We'll give this another try. Oh, there's a set Celeste there. Two RX sevens, uh, an S two thousand, a Lotus Elise, and the set Celeste. I think this is going to be a bit worse because the set Celeste is more powerful than the least. So this is going to be interesting to say the least. The two RX sevens are red. The, m more than half of the grid is red. There's four red cars in this grid, and the only cars that aren't red are mine on the least. <laughs> They're packed together, though. If they remain like this, I have, an, I have a chance. If they pull away like last time, I'll be in trouble. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, that's totally possible. Doing the game with only used cars is totally possible in this game. There is not much much to stop you from doing that. 
<laughs> and yeah, the three yellow stratos. That was hilarious. That was totally hilarious. That, the, uh, the luck required to make that happen. Just the kind of things that only happen in this channel. <laughs> That's it, Lotus. Just tap the wall. Tap the wall. Ah, yeah, if you want to do all events, including rally events, yeah, you have a point. Once again, I, I've been beaten by the motorsport, at least. <laughs> sure, that works. I'm not going to place behind you. the hell, man? Ah. Yeah, that motorsport release is just too quick. My god. I would like to play Rally, but the problem is I have to turn the 60 FPS code that I have right now. Because Rally only works at 30 FPS. So yeah, I'll have to restart the entire thing and now. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do a separate stream for Rally. How does that sound? When when I'm complete when I'm done with most of the road racing events we'll do a stream for rallying and have a few rally builds. Oh there's no no, um, motor support at least, but there's a set of this. I'll try to complete all the events in Gran Turismo 2, like all the races, all the manufacturer races and all the rally events. That's my intention for this playthrough. And I'll stream the whole thing, because why not, and we'll come up with some funny challenges like we always do. That's kind of the point of streaming it all. Otherwise, it'll be kind of boring to me playing this game on my own. Like I did this a thousand times. We're last. <laughs> We're dead last. Oh no. That wasn't nice. I can't believe like the TBRs are, are fighting for the, the final, the last places. <laughs> Thank you, RX-7. Totally a safe re-entry to the track. I'm going to lose against this at ZS. I can't believe it. I'm totally going to lose against the set CDS as well. Totally thanks to my incompetence, really. Because they made a few mistakes on the first lap. Oh, hey, you! how are you doing? Yellow Fiat struggles, of course. Yellow Fiat struggles an uphill section. New engine required. 
Hope you're having a nice Sunday. Uh, Christ, uh, that this is so disappointing, man. This is all my fault. We're going to do this another time because I'm really upset that I threw that one away. Again, no motorsports at least. But there's an NSX. The NSX is always a threat. Those are always really quick. No, oh, no, that sounds terrible. That is why I don't bring anything tea or anything like that to my room. If I'm going to drink something, I'm going to drink it on the table and take my time because I'm clumsy I don't want to ruin anything expensive. No, one, I can't afford it, and two, I will feel really stupid, so I, I, I'm always careful. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that happen to you. Getting there. <laughs> right, the chase is on. We have to catch up to the set CDS before it's too late. I didn't go wide on the corner, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, absolutely. That's the problem with the Fiat. It can't. It doesn't have any straight line speed at all. The 500, the the red one that I used for the video has that problem. This one has better acceleration, but it has the same problem. I mean, it has a bit of better top speed, but it, it, that's the problem. It has no top speed. It just dies and the AI just blasts you away. Oh, wow. Well. Where did you come from? I wasn't expecting you to do that. No, 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 no. I refuse to lose this race. And they and this this car doesn't struggle on the on the chicane. Oh no, man! This is I can't believe it. I can't believe this this stuff. I I really can't believe it. I I don't know. I, I probably was very slow on that final section, but it came out of nowhere and it couldn't block. It couldn't do anything. I, I refuse to stay second on this. I, I'm going to do this again, I'm sorry. If not, I'll just call it a day right now. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I'll have to keep the mirror on the entire time.
Oh, come on. Oh, 150 days. Right. Hope you're here. Yes, here it is. I was looking for this thing. I'll buy two. Because I want to keep one in case. Uh, do we have an auto touch? Yeah, we do have it. Yeah, we have one. And I think I bought one earlier. No, I didn't buy one earlier. Is this? No. Yeah, I'll buy one. Right, sorry for that. I just wanted to do a few things. We'll give this another try, and if it doesn't work, well, there's always another session. And there's the motorsports at least. I know I can't beat that already. And there's the motorsports at least again. Oh, well, it's fifth. I'll give this a try. And if it doesn't work well, we tried. That's what matters. <laughs> also, the fact that I only have two laps for this really plays against me. It really does play against, play against me, and it's so frustrating, because if probably I had an extra lap, I would have better chances, but no, I have two laps, and two laps is nothing, really. These races are just too short. <laughs> now the ZZS is stuck behind me. You could have been stuck behind me in the previous race, you know. Now, now it's just pointless, because I have to fight against a motorsports Elise, which is pulling away from me. Yeah, that's kind of my problem with Gran Turismo challenges. I, I, I like to make them, but at the same time, I, I'm always in a situation where it's, oh, if I have one lap, this car will be competitive. Jesus Christ, the champ of the, of the Honest 2000 just went wide, uh, went straight into the air. But yes, yeah, I was saying, my thing with Gran Turismo challenges is, there's often a lot of situations where if I have an extra lap or something, my car will be competitive, but then I have to rethink my entire strategy because, guess what, I don't make it on the time that I'm given. Of course I'm not begging for infinite laps, but sometimes, like, two laps with these cars is just too short. It's a three minute race, at, at the very minimum. And most races in Gran Turismo 2 I like the, are like this, and that's one of my criticisms of, of Gran Turismo 2, is the races are just too short.
Yeah, there we go. Third place. Could be worse. Could be way worse. Might have to try another car for now. Another set of events as well. What else do I have to do? Oh, yeah, we couldn't do that. I need an FR car, front wheel, rear wheel drive, I mean. Well, you know what? I'm going to use a BMW. We haven't used a BMW. There's no racing mod for this thing, um, we're not going to use it anyway, <laughs> if there was. Yeah, there's no racing mod for this thing. going to buy just an extra upgrade just in case. Yeah, I'm going to do this, I think. Because my muffler, yeah. Let's see how this goes. This car got added from Gran for Gran Turismo 2 Plus, uh, so it's nice to have it here. Even if I only have gotten it on darker colors, but I rather have dark green, which is a nice color, than a gray or a black, which isn't that nice. No, I think these gears are kind of short for a special stage drive.
All right, there we go. We're, we are in first place. <laughs> I had to focus there for a second. I, I wasn't sure if I could catch up to the to the R32 ahead. But I guess I could, so we're going to hold this lead. Yeah, it does. They do work. They they are all right. They are just perfect, I will say. There is no room for slipstreaming, but they they are really effective. So yeah, we we made the right call on those gears. The, the opponents are a bit faster than me though, especially the S2000. The S2000 is always a, a quick car when, whenever it appears. I mean, it was the cover car for this game, of course, they're going to make it a bit overpowered. <laughs> In true Gran Turismo, a staple of the franchise. Yeah, manual is usually faster in this game. Because you can just shift gears and whenever you like and keep the car at peak power range. There we go. ETS Type M, you don't see those every day. To 7 CR. Yeah, they, this is a nice car. It is, it's alright. Right, I could use this for the next race or the 3 series. Yeah, I think I'll keep the 3 series. Right, so we have a, an AMG ahead of us, a few DB7s. This is an interesting grid, especially the AMG. I'm, based, I'm ba biased towards AMGs, especially the, the older ones. I just like I just like cars with four doors and lots of, of power. <laughs> Now we can appreciate a bit more this shade of green in, in daylight. Just like that, we're first. The super is behind us. We'll see how we hold on the main straight, that's my, my concern. But I think we'll be fine. We shall be fine, for the most part. At least, I mean, we're kind of competitive. Even if fifth gear is a bit long for my taste, it'll be shorter.
No, no. <laughs> uh, that was bad. That was really bad. That was a really bad mistake on my end. I just stopped the... the stake and it went and fly flew off. I do have to recover this position. We are on a stock tire, so I can push this car as much as I will like. This is why I'm sliding all over the track, because we are on stock tires. Right, there we go. Easy. Oh, the AMG was last. That's so sad. The fact the AMG was last just breaks my heart. This is what we get, a uh, modified Master X7. You know, given that I want to redeem the AMGs, we're going to do something. Now yeah, we're going to do something. Uh, yeah, I actually like it in white. These things are just so nice, but there's there's not many places with the, where they are competitive. Especially this one, because they, they are just really heavy and have no downforce, so I can just race against faster cars with them. If I want to beat race cars with these, it's, it's impossible. At least, I mean, I tried, but no results. So yeah, we'll take it somewhere else. Yeah, if only the CLK GTR was in this game. The CLK GTR isn't on this game, but there's something else in Gran Turismo 2 Plus. This thing, the AMG C55, which wasn't on the original game usually, and this, the one everyone knows and loves, the CLK DTM. And there's the stock CLK, the first gen, as well. We're coming here. Now we're going to... Yeah, it's really nice to have it, really. After all these years, it's finally included in a... In a... Yeah, one million isn't that much in this game. You can grind that in 10 minutes. No, 15 minutes, we'll say. We'll be generous. I mean, just look at these era figures. They're just terrible. 12, 21, that's just off. Oh, and there's a roof ahead of us, a green CTR. Yeah, th this is the car I wanted to face, actually. So it all works out in the end. <laughs> We're just blasting away. Even if the gears are still a bit too long, I should have made them shorter. But it's fine. Also, the fact that you can 
buy this in multiple colors, which you can't in the original Gran Turismo, it's so nice. Especially these more bright colors like whites, reds. Ah, uh, this is the default field of view, I think. I usually use the default, I don't play around with that. I don't... i never seen other field of view for this game. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. I'm too used to this camera. I think the camera is fine. If you had to pick an AMG, which one would it be? Random question for everyone listening. Surprise me with your choices. Actually, if I had to choose one, it will be like... The CLK DTM that they made will be nice if, if I could go into the absurd levels, right? Because those are really rare. Then the, then there's the old the old hammer line. Yeah, actually, I'm going to rephrase that question. I mean, I don't know which one I will pick because there are so many that I want. Hello, Jack. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, the hammer AMG, of course. That's the one. The the gold standard for the AMG. There's no way around that. They're so cool. The, the, the body kits and all of that, they're so cool. And yeah, the 53, the Red Pig, is just another classic car. The fact the guys who made it had to quit the company to put that thing racing and then won with that car is just amazing. It's just a, such a brilliant start to what will become AMG as we know it today. Um, there is an uh, 190 AMG actually. It has, I think it, they swapped a 3.2 inline 6 engine onto it. And it's a really interesting car. And yes, all cars today come in so boring colors and in fact, I think that's the customer to blame, because if you give them decent options, they'll just pick the boring colors as well. That's a massive problem people have when buying cars. So yeah, I totally agree with that. Oh, look. My clone was right behind me. <laughs> right. But yes, the 190 is one of my favorite Mercedes as well. I will totally love to buy one. There are so many cars that I would like to buy, but I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't afford it. Not not even my first car. Like I'm going to buy something nice. Get it, it. It ain't happening right now. Yeah, the Reynolds Spider show will will be a nice fit, but I. Uh, I can I can kind of assume why they didn't have it. And the R30, yeah, we could get that actually. Just let me get on this. No, wait. I'm going to sell this thing. We can win a one with this. Yeah, actually, we. I think we're going to do it. Yeah, we're going to use the 86, why not? From an AMG to an 86, we have a really diverse car grid on... on this... on this server, on this <laughs> channel. Uh, no, actually, I don't remember that. The NA yeah, of course, the NA Miat is just classic. Who doesn't love the NA Miat? Mm, 
it's, I mean, not liking Amiata should be, should be considered a crime, if you ask me, but, you know, what do I know? <laughs> Yeah, of course, the, the first gen Neon is, is a brilliant car. You can't, you, you can't deny that. Oh yeah, the TXR Discord, yeah, I, I understand now. Yeah, I think I, I remember you, How, hope you've been well. Uh, I was thinking like, which Discord, I was so confused. A85 by accident. <laughs> I think my 86 will turn into an 85. <laughs> yeah, I, each time I remember that scene, I can't help but laugh. My, my 86 has become an 85. <laughs> yeah, I totally get what you mean, why will you, you, you will start with the 86. It's a decent starter, really. Usually I try to keep my starter choice buried, like... I mean, I started the game with a Fiat 500, I mean, I'm not the right person to talk about starter cars. Oh god, I went sideways there. Oh, nice, so you're visiting family, that's excellent. Hope you have a good time there. That's always a nice break. This might be an 85, we're getting destroyed. <laughs> I think I might bought the 85 by accident. <laughs> yeah, but the RX-7, like the 83 RX-7 is a really quick car in this game. Yeah, I don't watch much regular car reviews, actually. It's... Mm, I, I, I don't know, it's, just, it's not for me, it's not the type of car content that I watch. <laughs> yeah, you did the GT300 with this thing, and... Yeah, that, that, sh that was interesting, to say the least. We need to find a car to do that championship with, something interesting, I'll have to keep it in mind. Because we're wrapping up special events real quick. That's kind of the point of this stream, just wrap up events and move on. Keep progressing with the game, we have a few endurance races left and then it's rally and manufacturer events. Coolest car sound in this game. Um, coolest car sound is the glitch the master demo, the master speed demo. <laughs> Change my mind. That's the coolest car sound in this game. Oh, great. Uh, the LM edition sounds... Uh, it doesn't stand out for me, I mean... The car drives really well, though. The car is excellent, but the sound is just... Uh, I mean, it, it's not bad, but it's not one of all we we'll call memorable for me. 
Yeah, totally, Hoover. <laughs> totally. That's the best engine sound in the game. Oh, okay, that was a nice drift. That was nice. No. <laughs> 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 okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what, what... Which muffler sounds I prefer, really. I mean, for me, they're just all there. I mean, they're there. Yeah, but those will make the game a bit too easy, actually. The... Castro Super or the Yellow Edition. Yeah, oh, it's red. I, yeah, okay, it's red. I mean, usually I prefer the blue one, but this is the more iconic one. So I think this is a good time to wrap things up. If you haven't left a like on the live stream, leave it now, and I appreciate you all for being here. Next week we'll resume with more races in Gran Turismo 2 and whatever comes with the channel. So have a good night everyone. I'll see you all in the next week. Take care.